Welcome to a webinar on how you can smell your way to workplace wellness. My name is Allie Phillips and my business is Manifested Harmony. Any information that I'm sharing in this presentation is not meant to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. So let me tell you a little bit about me and why I am so passionate about workplace wellness and how essential oils can help. I am a former prosecuting attorney. I am currently and still working in the legal field and more at the national level. And what I do is I train criminal justice professionals on animal protection issues, particularly how animal abuse links to crimes against people. So I travel the country and now internationally educating audiences at conferences. I have also written a couple of books and a dozen or so book chapters on the topic. And I'm also an animal advocate. While I was a prosecutor, I spent uh, my time also volunteering in my local animal control shelter, which I did in initially as a stress reliever, but it ended up causing more stress. But it's what really thrust me into the world of animal protection. And so now for the uh, since uh, 2011, I have had my healing business manifested harmony. And since February of 2013, I have been a young living member and very passionate about educating people about the oils. So I am multi careered and a 70 hour work week is normal for me because I love all of my work, but it has led to being stressed out and burned out. So that's why I'm very passionate about this topic and what I've done with oils, especially in the workplace. And so when you, when you have workplace wellness, a couple of things happen. You're less likely to take sick days. You're less likely to have mental health days. You're more likely to relate positively to others. You are more engaged and contributing. You're going to do better in your job. You're excited to start your day and you feel good at the end of your day. I mean, wouldn't you love that? And so it really comes down to how do you feel about your job? Because when you think about your job, if you are working full time, you are spending more than half of your waking hours in the workplace. And so do you actually love the work that you do, the, the tasks, the projects, the topics that you work on? Do you lose track of time? People who love their work lose track of time all the time. Do you make a salary that you feel respects your abilities? Do you like your work colleagues? Do you feel that your contributions are welcomed and appreciated? Do you have variety in your work? Do you feel secure in your position? We're in a day and age where there is no such thing as workplace um, loyalty. Do you feel appreciated and respected by your boss? You know, or do you go home drained and cranky at the end of the day? So there was a Gallup poll done in 2010 through 2012 where 150,000 workers were polled and the results were shocking. 70% of the workers were disengaged with their work, with 18% being actively disengaged. They were vocal about it, that they didn't want to be there. They didn't like their work. They didn't like anything about it. Only 30% were engaged, where they actually enjoyed their job and they enjoyed their bosses. 22% of them were engaged and thriving and when they looked at the companies, small companies with 10 or less employees had more engagement. And they found that when they looked at the top recommendations on how to get workers engaged, the number three recommendation was workplace wellness. So when we look at this study and they were uh, going into the annual health related costs to employers, this was very eye-opening. When a worker is suffering, their health care annual costs are going to be around $11,709. When a worker is struggling, 
the annual cost of care are around $7,388. And when someone is thriving, their costs are much lower to under $4,400. And so employees who are engaged in their jobs are generally in better health and have healthier habits than employees who are not engaged or are actively disengaged. So, you know, why, why do you want to be engaged? Why do companies need engaged workers? I mean, when you look at workers who are engaged and thriving, which is about 22% of employees, changes in the workplace and stress don't impact them like workers who are struggling. They have 46% fewer sick days. They are 39% less likely to be diagnosed with a new disease within the year and 43% less likely to be diagnosed with anxiety and depression. And so when we look at unengaged workers, these are the people who show up on the job and kill time. They are doing the minimum required with little extra effort to go out of their way for customers and clients. They are less likely to be vigilant, more likely to miss work and change jobs when new opportunities arise. They are thinking about lunch or their next break. These employees are either checked out or attempting to get their job done with little or no management support. On the other hand, engaged workers are the lifeblood of a company because a company is only going to be as good as its workers. Engaged employees are involved in and enthusiastic about and committed to their work. They support the innovation, the growth, and the revenue that their companies need. These workers are well, and that wellness spreads, spreads to other employees. And so what do we really want in the workplace? Well, this is from a study of 200,000 workers that happened in 2014 uh, from the Boston Consulting Group. And they found top factors consistent among the, those that were polled. And the top 10 factors are being appreciated for your work, having good relationships with colleagues, having a good work-life balance, having good relationships with superiors, the company has financial stability, there is learning and career development available. There's job security, an attractive fixed salary, interesting job content, and company values. Now, while you cannot change most of these factors, you can change your response to those. Most of these factors you can influence with your internal compass, your internal beliefs and your work values, your attitude, and even your response. And all of those can be influenced by the use of essential oils. Because you can decide to create your own workplace wellness, regardless of what is going on around you. So let's talk about the science of smell and how oils really work. Did you know that scent is the first sense that is activated when we are born? Did you know that we breathe in over 23,000 times a day? And when we think about how we breathe when we're stressed, we breathe very short and shallow and it deprives our body of oxygen. Now, this is important for two reasons. When you're breathing in 23,000 times a day and half of that is in the workplace, are you breathing in toxins in the workplace? Toxins from fumes, from carpet, from other people's perfume and, you know, toxic products that they're using. You know, do you go home exhausted with a headache, stressed and irritable? And then what if you could smell something throughout the day to keep you physically and emotionally balanced, like oils? Because smell is our most direct scent. It bypasses all of the body systems. It goes through the olfactory bulb in the nose directly to the limbic portion of our brain where our amygdala and our hippocampus reside. The limbic part of the region of our brain, this is the mammalian part of our brain that supports functions like emotions, behavior, motivation, long-term memory, and the ability to smell. The amygdala is the emotional learning center and also where we store fear. The hippocampus involves learning, memory, and emotion. So before something can be smelled, it has to be airborne. So for example, when you get new office carpet and you smell it, those chemicals are off-gassing and coming into the air and you're breathing it in all day. But the one thing about scent is that it lodges into our long-term memory. 
And so we are 100 times more likely to remember something that we smell more than what we see, hear, touch, or taste. So smell can help us learn. And when we talk about the workplace, no matter what sort of work you do, aren't we always learning? We should be. And so smell triggers emotion. There are businesses who are hiring other companies to create scents that can be uh, diffused and displayed in their businesses to help you actually spend more money. So how a place smells is the most recalled feature of a past experience. We remember the smell of something for many years longer than we remember sounds, visuals, or textures. Scent creates more emotionally charged memory traces than those that are evoked by verbal, visual, auditory, or tactile cues. So essential oils are liquid memories. And the smell can actually trigger positive emotions and help us release negative emotions. But not all oils are treated equally. There are different types of essential oils, and I have found the hard way that you get what you pay for. For years, I used a variety of different brands of oils that I purchased at the local health food stores. And other than smelling nice, they didn't work. They didn't do anything. And then once I learned about the different grades of oils and the chemistry of how they work, I realized why those oils didn't work. So let's start at the bottom of the pyramid. Low quality oils are often synthetic. They have been um, created in a lab. So they are not from nature. Um, you know, these are oils that have been adulterated. They are in hair and skin products. So all the shampoo and the lotion and body scrubs that you buy have low quality and often synthetic oils. And it's just simply to scent the product. They have no therapeutic value. Then perfume grade. You will not have any therapeutic benefits from perfume grade oils because they contain chemicals and solvents. And it's because only the smell is important for a perfume grade oil. They can contain chemicals. They have cautions on them to not ingest or apply directly to your skin. And these are common in the reed diffusers, you know, where you have an oil base and you have reed sticks coming out of them, and even the plugins. Then from there, you have natural and food grade oils, where again, you will not achieve a therapeutic benefit. Even if they're labeled pure, they can still be adulterated and contain undisclosed ingredients. They can be distilled with solvents and alcohols. Organic can even be um, not 100% pure and can contain other organic ingredients that are not disclosed. And with the natural and the food grade oils, only the flavor is important. So these are oils that you cook with. And then there's therapeutic grade oils. These are tested for quality of the plants, the location of the planting, the distilling at the right time, distilling with steam and no cutting agents. Nothing is put in to the botanical and into the oil and nothing is taken out. It is pure and it is potent, which is why they are safe for internal consumption. They are safe to be applied directly to your skin. All of the constituents in the plant are present once the oil is distilled and that is what creates a therapeutic response. These are the young living oils. And this is why I only use them. And so it really comes down to trusting the company and that the botanicals are grown in the proper area without toxins and pesticides and herbicides and they're harvested at the right time. They're distilled with steam and nothing else is in that bottle other than what the label says. So when we're working with therapeutic grade oils, these, are, these oils are higher than international standards. The therapeutic grade oils stimulate the olfactory receptors in our olfactory system, which goes right to our brain. And this is what trigger emotions and can help us release emotions. These oils also work at the cellular level to promote wellness from within, because when you feel good, you're a better worker and you're more engaged. These oils can help to oxygenate by transporting 
nutrients from the oils to starving cells. Because remember how I talked about we often breathe shallowly when we're uh, stressed and in the workplace. Um, therapeutic grade oils can build your immune system. They can quickly penetrate the skin and get to the bloodstream. They can cross the blood brain barrier um, and increase oxygen in the limbic system. Um, they are lipid soluble, which means they can penetrate cellular walls and it can penetrate all parts of the body and every cell within 20 minutes. They're antioxidant, which means they create an unfriendly environment for free radicals. They can assist with detoxing the cells and can even chelate heavy metals out of cells and clean out receptors. They can raise the frequency of our energy because when we are unwell, our frequency is low and these oils can help raise them. They are heterogeneous, which means they are intelligent and can balance the body in both directions. So you don't necessarily need one oil to balance low blood sugar or high blood sugar. You can use one oil to help with that. They are diverse in their effects. For example, cedar wood can not only sharpen the mind, but quiet it, depending on what time of day you use it. And trace minerals can be found in therapeutic grade oil, some of which have not even been identified, but they can balance and, and enhance the ability of these oils. And synthetic oils can't do that because they're missing the trace minerals. But these oils also create what's called homeostasis. That's when an organism internally becomes stable and balanced. And so these oils can really balance you out, whether you're low on something or high on something, they can bring you back to center. And now every essential oil has its place, including the you know, perfume grade and the food grade, but only a therapeutic grade oil can help you maintain the physical and emotional wellness that we all crave. And so these little bottles can inspire a positive emotional state in the workplace, can enhance your physical wellness. They can purify your home and your office. They can refine your skin so that you look awesome. They can create deep spiritual awareness to help you go through your day. They can help you relax and support restful sleep at night and give your body the homeostasis that it needs. So how can you use these oils? There's three ways. You can aromatically use them by simply putting a drop in your hand and smelling, and it goes right through the olfactory system to the limbic part of your brain. Or you can diffuse them with a cold diffuser. You do not want to use a heated diffuser because that could impact and harm the therapeutic constituents that create that therapeutic value. You can apply them topically. And these oils are safe to apply directly without dilution. You certainly can dilute. And for babies, there is some dilution recommended. But these oils are safe to apply topically. Because if the bottle says lavender or peppermint, the only thing in that bottle is lavender or peppermint. There's nothing else in there. You can also take these oils internally. You can drip them in water. I love lemon in my water. You can um, create a tea with warm water and put cinnamon oil or orange oil or combine those together. You can even put them in a vegetable capsule and ingest them. And the Young Living oils have been approved for internal consumption. And so oils can provide you with the wellness that you crave at the physical level, emotional, mental, spiritual level. But they can also bring about financial wellness, relationship wellness, career wellness. So let's get back to the workplace and even after work and how these oils can help. What I want to talk about are two areas that are common sources in a workplace that create toxic energy. The first one is draining energy, mainly because of electronics and the people that we work around. And let's talk about how you can protect yourself. So first, the electromagnetic frequencies that come from technology. Don't put laptops in your lap. Don't put cell phones in your pocket because you will literally be walking around 
with a cell tower in your pocket. These electromagnetic frequencies have been untested, but yet we are being whole body irradiated 24 seven with them. We don't know the impact of Wi-Fi in all of this. So do what you can by keeping the technology away from your physical body as much as possible. Because some of the symptoms of electromagnetic frequency overload are feeling fatigued, forgetfulness, brain fog, headaches, sleep difficulties, heart palpitations, skin tingling, tinnitus, which is ringing in your ear, anxiety, depression, nausea, mood swings, and loss of productiveness. Do any of those ring a bell with you? Now, another area that can drain our energy are toxic coworkers and supervisors. There are just some people that we know, that we work with, you know who you're thinking of, and they're just toxic. I call them energy vampires. They either want to feed off of your good energy because you come in feeling great and they want to siphon some of that off, and then they end up, end up making you feel very drained. Or they just walk around like a wet blanket, complaining of every ache and pain. Everything is drama. Everything that happens in the workplace is such a big catastrophe. And this really can wear you down energetically. Walk away. Breathe deeply. Use tree essential oils like spruce, pine, Cypress, those sort of things, because tree oils are very grounding because they have very deep roots and you will feel very grounded and very rooted. Breathe them in very deeply. Another thing that you can do before you go home is do an energy sweep, like stand outside your house and take your right hand, put it up at your left shoulder and sweep down and across your body. Do it with your right your, or your left hand at your right shoulder and sweep down and across your body and and just sweep the energy down from your head all the way down the front and the back of you because you will be surprised at what clings to you energetically now the second thing that can create a toxic environment in the work office is synthetic and toxic smells carpet Carpet off gases, uh, most flooring off gases, you know, hardwood floors, tile. And so when it comes time to cleaning, particularly carpet, ask your employer to not use toxic chemicals to clean your carpet, which you're then going to smell, but mix oils with baking soda and sprinkle that in the carpet and clean it up or put the oils into a carpet cleaner, and just use water and oils. Same thing with cleaning supplies. Ask them not to clean your office or your workspace with toxic cleaners. Instead, you can make your own cleaners using oils. All oils can be used as a cleaner, and you just pick the one that you want for scent. People who wear perfumes, start introducing them to the oils because there are some perfume, there are some oils that smell better than any perfume you can imagine. And when people talk about how they are allergic to smell, what they are allergic to are the toxins, not the actual scent. When you start wearing oils instead of perfumes, you will notice that people around you and maybe even yourself don't have the reaction. If there are plugins in the office, counteract that by diffusing oils. And even hand soap, bring your own oil infused hand soap. It's easy to make. And so how can you use oils in the office? Well, diffusing is a great way. On the top, you see a pink USB diffuser. Plug it into your computer and you have oils diffusing. You can have a small hand diffuser like what you see on the bottom left. You can diffuse in your car the center photo, or just bring a small diffuser to your office. That's a photo uh, in my office and how I have a diffuser there. But you can also just wear essential oils and it'll give off that smell that everyone will enjoy. There's lots of ways that you can use them in the office. So let's talk about specific situations and oils that can help you get through all of these stressful times that undoubtedly happen in the workplace. So how can you manage stress and anger with oils?
So first of all, unexpressed anger can lead to depression. Energetically, I, I study the energy of oils and how stress and emotions can create physical issues in our body. And so unexpressed anger energetically leads to depression because energy is an emotion that can become stagnant. And if you don't release it, that stagnation can become depression. So what oils can you use? Lavender energetically helps to release pent up anger. And we store anger primarily in our liver, but sometimes we feel it in our stomachs. So you can topically apply it or you can smell it. Bergamot. This also energetically helps anger that comes from stagnant depression, helps to release it. Orange also releases the buildup of stress and frustration. And then Young Living has a beautiful blend called Stress Away. It has vanilla and lime and acotia and copaiba in it. Oh, it smells amazing. This will just bring on peace. It will let you leave the daily stress behind and restore your balance. I highly recommend de diffusing this oil throughout the day in your office and diffuse it when you get home. Now, how do you handle chaos and crisis? I used to work in an environment where other people's emergencies became my crisis. These oils really helped me handle because when you are stressed out and anxious during chaos and crisis, you're not thinking your best. So what are some good oils? Cedar wood, it can energetically give you strength during a time of crisis. Really makes your mind alert. Cypress helps you to cope with change because cypress is a tree with very deep roots. And when you need to stand firm during chaos and crisis, you want those deep roots, right? Cypress is great. Just smell it and you feel more, more sturdy, more stable. Frankincense is really great when you feel distracted or overwhelmed. It helps you breathe deeper during a crisis, brings on calm and a positive attitude. Palma Rosa energetically gives you a sense of security and really helps for people who are not good with change. We all know those people. Maybe you're one of them that anytime there's change, you go into panic mode. Instead, go into Palmarosa mode. And then peace and calming is a very popular blend with Young Living. And it just does exactly what the name says. It brings you peace and calming. Because when you are calm, you can think more effectively and clear and make better decisions during chaos and crisis. There are times when you really need to speak your mind. And you, you may hear people say this. I hear people say it all the time. And I hear people say this as an excuse to be abusive. Speaking your mind is never hurtful. It is never abusive. When you speak your mind, you are channeling your higher self, which can speak truth, but always with compassion. So if you have trouble speaking up for yourself, fennel oil is awesome. I put it directly on my throat. I really don't have a problem speaking up for myself. I'm a lawyer and I'm a Leo. <laughs> but there are times when you need to say something to the boss and you want to say it with compassion, but firmness. This smells amazing. It smells like licorice. Put it right on your throat because when you don't express your thoughts, those thoughts get pushed down into the intestines and your thoughts are going to come out that way. Okay? So it can either come out through the bottom or through your mouth. <laughs> and you'll be amazed at how this works. When you need to have good energy throughout the day, these are your three oils. Because if you are physically, emotionally, and mentally balanced and strong, you can handle anything. Lemon peppermint. These are my go-tos in the afternoon. I not only smell them and drink them, but I put them right on my temples because it gives me energy and it wakes up my brain. And then the energy oil is a blend that this is an amazing oil to diffuse, or you can just put it in your hand and smell it or apply it topically. These are your three oils to support you with good energy. 
Now you need some support with your mental cognition. You need that mental boost. So I've already talked about lemon and peppermint, but fennel is also good. Fennel energetically can stop the overthinking because when we overthink something, we can spiral out of control and then we don't get anything done. Fennel just brings you back on focus. Brain power gives you a boost. Put it right on your temples, put it in your hand and smell it or diffuse it. Same thing with clarity. This clears your mind and gives you alertness. Now you need to support your happy emotions and good morale. And these are really, really great oils. You notice that the first four are flower oils because think about it. When you get flowers, are you ever sad? Are you ever upset? No, you're happy. It boosts your morale. Everybody should get flowers every day. So go to a lang a lang. This will help you feel more peaceful and joyful. Geranium brings on hope. Jasmine gives you optimism. Rose brings in harmony and love. Orange is also great. It's just, it just wakes you up. Imagine drinking orange juice in the morning and how that gives you a boost. Orange oil does the same thing. Rosemary is energetically empowering, gives you faith, gives you confidence. But you want to know my favorite one for happy emotions and morale? Joy. This is a blend that contains a lot of those flower oils. I have swapped out my perfume and I only wear joy now. Because no matter what you're going through, don't you want to enjoy life? Think of the word enjoy. It has joy in it. Life is meant to be enjoyed. Work is meant to be enjoyed. If you do not enjoy your work, find work that you love. Joy will help you on that path. Now let's talk about happy hormones. And this is for anyone. Um, now I put down primarily oils for women. Um, but these are really amazing because if you are hormonally out of whack, you're not going to be your best in the workplace. These are the oils to check out. Clary sage, geranium, peppermint, and then there's a blend called Progescence Plus that has naturally occurring progescence from wild yams. Check these out and see how they can help you if you are if you feel that you need support for happy hormones so that you can work better in your work environment. And lastly, you, you're home and now you need to let it go. Don't bring your work home with you because you need to get a good night's sleep. These are the four oils to help you get a good night's sleep. So these are all very spiritual oils, very calming. So you can certainly go with traditional lavender. That's always great. But my combination is frankincense on the bottom of my feet because it's calming. It's what we meditate with. I put cedar wood right across my forehead because energetically it quiets the mind. It, it quiets that chatter, that to-do list. Idaho balsam fir can actually balance uh, the cortisol that comes from your adrenals, because if your adrenals are firing too much cortisol, it, it's that fight or flight mechanism. It's going to keep you awake. Put Idaho balsam fir right over your adrenals that sit on top of your kidneys. And then Idaho blue spruce is the highest energetically vibrational oil out there. It's about 580 megahertz. Put it in comparison. When we feel our best, we are 78 megahertz. This will just raise you up, but by doing that, it doesn't keep you awake. It just takes you to a whole nother place so that you can sleep. You can diffuse these and topically apply them. They're amazing. And so if this interests you, and if you are not with Young Living, join my team. I love giving presentations like this because when you join Young Living, you get a starter kit with essential oils, 11 of them to be in uh, uh, to be accurate, a couple of these I've talked about. I've talked about peppermint, lemon. I have talked about um, frankincense, lavender, and stress away. 
you get a diffuser, but you get 24% discount on all future purchases. And trust me, when you start using these in the workplace, you're going to want to replenish your stock. And when you join my team, I'll give you a $25 gift card so that you can go out and buy more resources and educate yourself. But the one thing that I do is I educate my people. I have a private Facebook page and you get free access to all of my webinars. So after today, you know, just check out these oils, go to my website, sign up for my newsletter and, you know, come to more workshops. I do them online. I do them in person from Lansing, Michigan, or message me if you really want to get started, because I can tell you these oils helped balance me and keep me physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually at my best when I was working in a workplace. Now I have the joy of working from home and I love sharing this information with others. So thank you for tuning in and be sure to message me if you have any questions and are ready to sign up.